Welcome to episode 10 of Massive L. Wow, this is 10. Halfway through the season. Wow, I feel special. And as you know, I'm here just to give out L's. I'm not in the L factory today. I'm back at the lounge. So this is my first international break. You know, this is where I get to go on uh, Al Jazeera, the sports version on my, uh, I, got that, I got that box. You know that box you get from the Algerians? That means I can watch any African game, Zambia versus Congo, Zimbabwe versus South Africa. We're sending, this part of the show is very hard for me. Difficult, exams. Because uh, all the L's I give out are spot on. They are precise. They are approximate. They are on the line. They are there. They arrive on time. They are real. They are not lies. So I'm asking all of you guys, in, your, in the comments, my comments and your comments, just below, we're, obviously we're sharing. I need you to write who you think I should rescind the L from. Does that make sense? There's no rules. Who you think I should rescind the L from. My English is getting better, you know. Um, so, yeah, you let me know in the comments because I find it, it's exams for me, it's hard. It's hard, I'm sitting there with my pencil, paper, and the whole room's quiet for too long. This is the Putin takeover. Okay, this is El Piat. That's five in Russian. Putin, you're fixed Donny, you're a fixed guy. Yeah, you're Changrai, you're Mugabe. You guys plan everything and there's nothing we can do about it. They got the missiles, you know them serious missiles that are the same size as Westfield. They press a button, everything goes. Anyway, El Piat. So the El Piat number five, I'm gonna give to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, I mean, come on. This is, I, I left back that. Really and truly should be getting left back. I mean, this guy, 23, 24 years old, we're talking about his testimonial. We're talking about retirement. We're talking about the Legends Five Side game indoor with the blue surface. That's what we're talking about with Luke Shaw because he's a knackered guy. Mm. Three managers have said he's tired. Three managers said he's lazy. He wakes up late every day. Single bed man. Waste guy. Is he even married? Who cares? So, Luke Shaw got substituted at half time against Brighton. And Mourinho said the guy has lack of desire, lack of determination, lack of agility, lack of teamwork, lack of work rate, lack of pace, lack of acceleration, lack of composure, lack of concentration, and lack of temperament. I took with those words from my manager. That was good, the edit part. And this is a guy that apparently trains twice a day. Twice a day. So I don't understand why, you know, especially you, you PTs. You PTs keep telling me every morning on Instagram, you know, you train hard, you work hard, you play hard, the income's hard. You guys got this, all these motivational talks with Will Smith every morning. Shut up. Because that's not the case with Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw's contract ends in the summer. So June, as soon as the World Cup starts, Luke Shaw is available in a free. So I'm calling all League 2 teams, all League 3 teams, all League 4 teams, Scottish Prem team. Air. There's a team called Air. I'm asking you to contact Luke Shaw. Contact him and give him that deal. You know that deal where you pay as you play? Yeah? Oyster. Oyster, oyster baller. Yeah, pay as you play. You bounce out of there, Luke Shaw. You're a massive L. Right, Russian takeover. This is L Chatai. L4. I know you thought it was Japanese. Nah, it's Russian. It's Russian takeover. Putin's a liar. Mugabe, Mabutu, Kabila, they all know each other. All in WhatsApp groups talking rubbish. Usain Bolt. Wow, 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 wow. About four years ago, Usain Bolt was talking about being a footballer. So going, leaving his 100 metres and coming into football. There was talk about him going to Manchester United. And then now we end up with him at Dortmund. So I watched a clip yesterday. He was wearing his, uh, his Dortmund kit number nine. Playing in Jamaica, pretending to be in, in, somewhere in, in Germany. Uh, him and his friends, it was him. Busy Signal. Buju Banton on his day release. Mavado and Sizzler Kalanji. Loads of dreads swinging on the pitch. They played a 6v6 with five guys. There was two bibs, two bibs, two green bibs. And obviously they played against three non-bibs. 
and Usain Bolt was wearing a yellow top. The bibs was yellow, and guess what Usain Bolt done? He went and put the yellow bib on, on top of his yellow top. That is a huge L. I'm talking an L with a big neck. Now Jamaica, we know we, we, when it comes to athletics, you know, relays and nine, 99 meters, you guys are killing it. We know that. But now your football is also on the way, on the rise. Robbie Yell and all those guys are coming back. The reggae boys. Leon Bailey has now just been capped. He's, he, he's, he, he looks like a, a serious baller. Ravel Morrison, big to you guys. Wow, Ravel Morrison was one of the, you know, before he was on the motorway with all of his goons. And those South London guys. Yeah, eight, nine guys, before six, seven was that. Before he was on the motorway, he was, he, he was better than Ali. He was better than, better than a lot of players. Better than a lot of these Latin guys we're seeing right now. And I saw one player for manager as well. Strength 18. His name was Hector. Defender, yeah, for Chelsea. It's nice to hear that you guys are at football. Don't know how you're going to do, but I remember Batty Stewart killing you guys and it was a 5 0 win at the World Cup. And that was the best day of my life. You know when I see you say, Mok, do this? It's so boring. It's so stiff. There's not, nothing African to it. You know that if, if that was me, there'll be some, some hips, some, you know, some, techno, some neck movement. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? A, 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 like a shake. You know what I mean? Then the knee, and I'll just look away, then something will be a bit technical. But this, this is just, I, I know if he scores, he scored a header in training yesterday. Yeah, I'll go, Google that. I know he's going to be doing that. The guy kept stretching every time the ball went out. So, say it was a throw-in or, 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 or corner, you see you say, say, everyone wait, 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 and go down and do a stretch for about, you know, four minutes. You can't do that in the game. And that's why Xavi's right. He's a fantastic athlete, as Xavi said. But he will do nothing on a football pitch. It doesn't matter how high your legs are. It doesn't matter about the space you've got from your kneecap to your ankle. I don't care about your strides. The bull patch or the Puma flat boots with no socks. I don't care. You're not doing nothing on the football field. Usain Bolt, take your reggae music with you, take the dreads, your bedrooms dreads with you, leave me. Jamaicans, leave me. Let me go. The Yardie Raves, uh, you might see me there. 3,000 people, everyone standing still and 15 cameras with lights walking around the place. But let me go. Taras. I noticed when I used to play Street Fighter on Super Nintendo, all the, all the fights were in Moscow. So Putin was running Street Fighter on Super Nintendo those days as well. The guy was about 14 years old. Right, this is L3, okay? And 3 is Russian again. It's a Russian takeover. It's not Jamaican, but apparently Jamaica and Russia say 3 the same way. An island. An island. It's strange, isn't it? Putin, man. You, you, I don't know how you get Irish and Jamaicans to link up with you. Right, the England national team. Every time England announced their team, I always stare at the TV for about 10 minutes thinking to myself, my name could have popped up. That's how dead these guys are. Pop. I saw Pop in the team. In my head, I'm saying this is cricket. I'm, I'm waiting to see Flintoff. I'm waiting to see Test and the score 271-9. That's what I'm waiting to see when I'm watching seeing Pop. These names in the England team are not organic. These are guys that are just on the register in the year nine class. Jake Livermore, Harry Maguire, Jake Chukwukowski, another Putin guy, English guy with a Russian name, need to Google him. And there was one more I saw, Alfie Molson, the guy that they described as resolute on Football Manager. This is Woolnocks under 18s in flipping 2005. Chris Smalling didn't make the England team. That's the best decision Gareth Southgate has made. But the reason why I still don't believe in Gareth Southgate because the guy that picked the England team is the guy that hangs out in Big Shack. Ashley Young is probably going to captain England's team in, his in the friendlies against Netherlands. Why do they say Netherlands? It's Holland. ISIS Pro told me Holland. Don't tell me Netherlands. They've got uh, friendlies against Holland and they've got friendlies against I I Italy. And Ashley Young is going to captain the team because he's the oldest. And to be honest, to call up a winger as a left back, it's it L. Theresa May, you should announce the England team if you can send 52 people back to Russia behind Putin's back. 
Let Putin know what you're doing. I want to get this one right. I want to get this one right. So you ready? Oh, show him. Watch this. L2. That's L2 in Russian. International weekend, international break. Players sit on their phones. They're not on Instagram, they're not on Twitter. Watching Massive on JD Football. No, they're not doing that. They're just waiting for that phone call. Saying, you know what? You've made it fly over. You're playing in the friendlies. And as you know, Spain's manager used to be a goalkeeper. I can't pronounce his name. There's no rules, I'm gonna call him L. Yeah? That's his name, L. So L didn't call up Alvaro Morata. Didn't call him up. They're in a WhatsApp group together with Diego Costa and a bag of strikers. But he didn't call up Morata. Morata's fuming right now. Fuming. Then you got Roberto Martinez. Okay, yeah, you know, one of one of those dry cups with. No, he won an FA Cup, didn't he? With Wigan. Okay, we'll give him that. He didn't call up Benteke. Now I don't know what you guys think of Benteke, but this season, he has definitely been the L. For someone that's on big boy Dwala. Morata and Benteke. For the wages you get and for the reputation you have, it's an L not to get called up by a goalkeeper and a dead coach, apparent, uh, uh, according to Kevin De Bruyne. The striker coach is Terry Henry at Belgium. And he said to Martinez, look, we have to call up Lukaku. But take it, Lukaku was a topic. For me, that's the L as well. Because if I was the number two, but take it, Lukaku would be the topic for Congo. Zaire, it used to be called Zaire when Muhammad Ali had his fight with George Foreman in Zaire. But because Muhammad Ali won, they had to change the name to DR Republic of Congo. Kabila Mobutu, like Putin, they're confused individuals. Yeah? If you want to say Zaire, we'll say Zaire, but I know the Congolese guys won't like it. Okay, we're going to say Zaire, there's no rules. So, Benteke and Lukaku, if this was a talk of Zaire, you know, I'm, I'm talking Zako Langa Langa, you know Zako Langa Langa. Yeah, you know your legends, Zaiko Langa Langa, um, Kofi Olomide. And these are big, these are, these, listen, if you're African, you know these are Michael Jacksons and Nelson Mandela's of Africa. Yeah, because they make serious music with the guitar, ding, ding, and the dancers. You know what I mean? The speakers always bust in their concerts and they still continue to do their thing. But Lukaku and Benteke, you should not be topic of discussion at Belgium. I don't care about colonization. I don't care what my history teacher told me in, in, in 2017. I don't care. Listen, the airport, let me, I'm, I'm gonna give you a fact. I'm gonna give you a fact about Belgium. Me, you know, you, you always learn a bit of geography at this place. There's an airport in, in the south of Belgium. This airport is the most punctual airport in the world. That means that your flight is always on time. Always, everything is always on, there's no delays. So Benteke is an L for you. Because if you would have got called up, and if you would have flew in from south, you would have got to the hotel in time, you would have got to train in time. But because you didn't get the call, you're late. It's an L. Marata, same goes to you, yeah? You didn't get called up because of Aspas. Aspas is a former Liverpool striker that did nothing in the Premier League. He's the new Denny Ings. Your CV's way better than his. But there's no rules. So you sit on your couch and watch the game. L Adin. So this is the final L of today. And this L, I'm going to deliver this L to, no rules, Yaya Toure. Yaya Toure, 30, 11 years old. Done. Career done, testimonial, retired man, school run. That's what I call these guys, school run guys. Retired from international duty in December last year. Called it a day, said, now nah, you know what, I'm done. How does he get into the Ivory Coast team? That means we're going to see Zokora. That means we're going to see Abue. Abue is going to come with two bailiffs on his back. You watch. Africans are reminiscing. They're reminiscing guys out here. So you know me, you know I like to do research. I like to find out why things are happening. Of course there's no rules, but I want to know why Yaya Toure has been called up. So I wanted to see who's the manager of Côte d'Ivoire. That's Ivory Coast. Yeah, we call it in Africa, we call it Côte d'Ivoire. I can't pronounce it, I'm not French. Yeah? So Côte d'Ivoire, the manager. According to Google, they don't have a manager. The job's vacant. That means I can apply for the job. Ivory Coast do not have a manager right now. So who called up Yaya Toure? Was it Kolo Toure? Well, you can't do that. You can't call your brother up and say, yeah, we need you. Who's picking the team? 
And Yaya Toure, I've got a good memory. I'm like an elephant, you know. I remember a lot of things. You remember in 2016? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Remember 2016 with your dry face? Remember 2016 when Pierre Aubameyang won African Player of the Year and you was upset because you said that oh, Africans are a disgrace because they picked a player that was playing in Europe. So was you playing? Was you was you playing in Africa? Huh? You think I don't know? You used to play for Olympiacos? You played with a with a guy that that, that that brought a gun in the field. He was working for him. He was paying you. You forgot. My right, people, out of those five Russian L's, you need to make me know. Let me know. Make me know. There's no rules in the comments. Which L needs to be rescinded next week? Is that a word? Rescinded? I don't care anyway. Rescindation. Whatever it is, you need to make me know which one needs to be rescinded out of those five Russian L's. Yeah. Look out for Putin and look out for Theresa May. It's a new name I learned today. Subscribe at JD Football. Massive L. Thanks for coming.